Most people never noticed this, but this Bruce Willis's interview wasn't just uncomfortable. That, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich and let's go shop. It was an early warning sign of brain damage. And with Jake Paul. Now that he's not fighting guys old enough to collect social security, there is a real chance that warning signs okay, there it is. are already there. So, do you see him? That's Bruce Willis, a former massive Hollywood star who played in dozens of movies. You've probably seen him once or twice. But why former? Because in 2013 he sat down for this interview that completely changed his career and shocked people all around the world. The interviewer asked him why the new movie is called A Good Day to Die Hard. Uh, it's a good day. <laughs> A good day to die. And as you can see, it's not his best interview. That, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah, die hard. Now, if you didn't understand the joke here, that's because there wasn't any joke. He was 100% serious and genuinely trying to answer the question. Well, it's about, I don't, it makes about as much sense. A good. <laughs> The interviewers just didn't realize they were laughing at someone who was showing symptoms of dementia. Or maybe there is a good day to die hard. Yeah. Because what you're seeing here is called aphasia, which is difficulty communicating properly, making up words or using unrelated words. That, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Have a sandwich and let's go shop. And in his case, it was due to frontotemporal dementia, which I explained in the most recent video I uploaded about Alzheimer's last week. Hope you remember it, no pun intended. Which brings us to the next topic, Jake Paul. A week ago, Jake Paul, this YouTuber, it's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. challenged Joshua to a boxing match. And it caused a huge mess around the world and made everyone ask the same question. What actually happened in the fight? So, spoiler, a lot more than just a broken jaw. And it all started here. Up until now, Jake Paul had been fighting basketball players, retired MMA fighters, 60-year-old boxers. There was even a rumor that he wanted to challenge Biden for a fight. Don't. But this time he chose a professional boxer, much heavier than him and much taller than him. And because of that, about 70% of the fight he spent hugging Joshua's knees. Which is why this meme started going around on Instagram. But when he wasn't on his knees and was actually standing, he was getting punched. Now, some people liked the fight more, some people liked it less. Jake Paul is not a boxer. If there hadn't been ropes around that ring, then he would have been back in the changing room because he was running for his life. What's certain is that their bank accounts really liked the fight, but was it worth the injury? The fight ended right here. This is the punch that made the referee stop the fight and caused Jake to break his jaw. He felt it right away and even said it in the post-fight interview. This sport has helped me so much in my life. I think my jaw is broken, by the way, so... Yes. Yeah. Let's go! It's definitely broke. And also, when Logan filmed his mouth, you could already see it. Hey, Smile! Smile! It's fine, right? Yeah, super fine. Passport photo material. Now, Jake broke his jaw in two places. But anatomically, when people say jaw, they mean this bone, the mandible. It's a U-shaped bone that everyone has. Except Jake, whose mandible became a U-shaped with two fractures. The teeth are also connected to the mandible. They sit in a place called the alveolar crest. Or in Jake's case, not anymore. If Jake had subscribed, maybe they would. Now, if you take Logan's video of Jake's mouth, it's fine, right? then cross-reference it with a CT Jake uploaded, where the right side here is his left. And also with another imaging he shared, we can see that his injury is in the parasymphysis, or right between the parasymphysis and the mandibular body, meaning right here. Depending on the reference, some sources divide the region differently. But that's not all. Because of the U-shape of the mandible, some sources explain that if there is one fracture, you should actively look for a second one and usually on the opposite side but there's a bigger problem what almost nobody online is talking about is not the jaw that can be fixed rather the brain the brain isn't tied to the skull with ropes rather it floats inside the skull within a fluid called csf and a punch like that can cause something called coup counter coup and it's not the kind of coup you want. It's when the brain hits the side of the skull where the punch landed, and then from a rebound or a fall, it also hits the opposite side. In a serious situation, it can look like this. Goes Zab Judah, and he's really hurt. He's all over the place. 
What you just saw now was a symptom of concussion. When someone takes a very strong impact to the head and then gets up in severe disorientation. If a fighter shows at least one sign like that, the fight must be stopped. That's considered a TKO and raises suspicion of concussion. And that's exactly what happened in Jake Paul's fight. The referee didn't stop the fight because he had x-ray vision and knew Jake's jaw was broken. He stopped it because Jake took multiple punches and looked extremely confused, disoriented and like he wasn't really there. And this kind of damage is a serious one and it happens quite a lot. In this study, physicians were shown 60 boxing and MMA fight videos and according to them, about 40% of the fights should have been stopped much earlier. In about 80% of the fights, there was suspicion of concussion. Now, we have studies showing that fighters exposed to repeated head impacts are associated with a decrease in thalamic volume and for dessert, a decline in cognitive abilities. Some people also say that boxing is associated with a higher risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. And according to this meta-analysis, they're right. That said, it's still too early to fully generalize because there were only two studies that included former amateur boxers. Some people also believe this is what happened to Muhammad Ali. What is this having this film out now a mean to you in your life at this time in your life? People who don't really know much about me, it'll tell them more about who I am. Mm -hmm. They'll understand more about Legend, Researchers found that Ali's speech rate declined by 26% between 1968 and 1981, from over four syllables per second to three syllables. Take time to make a movie about my life. However, because Ali declined an autopsy, no one can prove whether boxing caused his disease or whether he had CTE or Alzheimer's type pathology. But what happened to Paul? So as you can see here, and I'm sure you guessed yourself, it looks like he underwent ORIF, which is an open reduction in internal fixation. Or in simple lingo, they turned his jaw into an IKEA shelf, lined the broken pieces back up, and fixed them in place with titanium plates and screws. And as you can see here, they also removed some of his teeth. So on top of the 90 million dollars from Netflix, he might be getting a few extra dollars from the tooth fairy. And all of this usually means he'll be on liquids for a while. Okay, there it is. First, I'm still like locked up and swollen. Actually getting worse, guys. Yeah, this is AI, but here's the real thing. So we're here at the after party. I have to be honest, the vibes are way more chill than I thought. He's doing great. How are you feeling? Never been brighter. And to be honest, not that far from the AI version. There's a saying, play stupid games, get a double jaw fracture. I think Einstein said that. So when can Jake fight Canelo? Canelo. Oh, Canelo in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So Canelo, get ready. Uh, we're coming for you in two weeks. When Logan was asking about recovery time, the answer was six weeks. Yeah. What's the recovery? It's about six weeks. That's nothing. Yeah, it's it's nothing. We good. And that is roughly correct. There is a recovery range that can also reach between 45 and 90 days before returning to the ring. And that's depending on severity and on how badly he wants to sign another check. Until then, stay away from jaw breaking moments or jaw dropping moments and go watch the Alzheimer's video now. Now, one of the most important videos I've made. Click it and you'll understand why. Don't forget to leave a like, you can support the channel by joining the membership, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, smile. Smile. It's fine, right? Oh, yeah.